Hello, my name is Tim. Thank you for joining me at Urban Rider. Let's have a look at some goggles which have proved very popular for us in the past. We've just recently got these back in stock. So these are the Aviator Pilot goggles created by Leon Jean Tet. As I say, it's a welcome back for these. We've had them in the past. They've proved very popular with you guys, with the people that obviously buy them. They've sold very well for us. And even with the team as well, there's more than a few people in here that have these. Now I have to say, as far as personal experience, I will touch upon that a little bit. I haven't actually got an open face helmet. They just don't suit my face. I know, it's sad. Uh, but that also means that I don't have goggles, but a lot of the people in the office have, and I've asked them a lot of questions about how they get on with these and why they chose them specifically. A lot of that comes down to the style and probably more importantly, the fit, the comfort with these and the functionality that you get with them as well. They just work really well as a pair of goggles. It's subtle differences really, there's nothing massively different per se than other goggles, there's just little tweaks and things and they're just made really well and they are just really comfortable against the face, they fit really well with the helmet as well. They're quite low profile, are quite slim, so they fit a lot of different helmets as well, so I'm sure we will get comments, that's some of the things we got in the past, asking whether or not it suits or fits a specific helmet. Uh, it stands as good a chance as any other is the easiest way for me to put it. Obviously, we'll answer you if you put that in the comments yourself, but these are quite slim, they are quite small, so they will fit a lot of different helmets. The reason I've gone with the DMD Vintage, for example, here, is that it is a really slim line, quite a small helmet, in fact. This and the Hedden is another really small helmet for us, and it does fit those really well. So if it fits those helmets, chances are it will fit anything else. And that even goes for motocross helmets. You might not just be going for an open face helmet like this or a classic vintage style helmet. If you have a motocross helmet instead and you want to know if these fit, then the majority of people, the answer is going to be yes, if not all. We have two different versions here at Urban Rider. We have the T1 and the T2. They are exactly the same from the outside. They look exactly the same and they will fit exactly the same on the helmet. The difference is that the T2 are designed to work with glasses, which is why I'm wearing mine in this, aside from the fact that I actually do need glasses, uh, but just to prove that they will fit over a pair of glasses comfortably as well. The difference with them is that they have a cutout in the padding around your face, so that's for the arm of the glasses. I can't say specifically that it fits every single pair of glasses out there. Obviously, you might have some massive glasses. Maybe you've gone the Elton John route with your glasses, but if you've got anything like mine, which is a standard kind of fit, then it is gonna fit really easily over the top of them. I have the T1 here just for reference and you can see they're exactly the same for their fit except for that cutout for your glasses arms obviously on the T2. The price difference between them, there is a small one, is £105 for the T1 or £115 for the T2 and that is in any colourway. There are quite a few to choose from. We have obviously a lot of them lined up here for you. Ranging with the leather from black to brown to sand, camel, Ecru, if that's how you say it, it's the cream colored one, blue or gray if you prefer. You've also got a difference in frames. You can either go for a gold version, a gunmetal version, or a chrome version if you prefer. And lastly, the lenses you can change as well, which I'll touch upon a little bit more in detail in a second, but you can buy it in either the clear or the smoke version that you've got here. It's completely your choice, but you can change that after the fact if you choose to. There are a few different versions of that as well. You've got either the smoke or the yellow for 25 pounds. You've got the silver or blue mirror for 30 pounds. And you've actually got another clear one, which is anti-fog or has an anti-fog coating to it which is 35 pounds. Now from the people in the office that actually use these, they've told me that these are really good for not fogging whilst you're riding. No goggle is perfect, I wouldn't have said, but these do a really good job not fogging up. They've also got lots of vents across them. I think it's 16 actually, little holes across there obviously to allow some airflow through, so that helps with the anti-fogging. But if you're gonna wear these a lot in cold and wet conditions, then maybe you do want to change out the lenses and go for those anti-fog versions. One of the only things I have picked up as a negative from the comments, and I would agree with it really, is that to change the lenses, you have to use this tiny little screw down here just to loosen it off and obviously get access to them. It is a very small screw, so you will need a specialist screwdriver and obviously just be delicate so you don't round that off. You're not gonna change it too often because it is quite fiddly, uh, but obviously it's nice that you can change it if you so choose. But if you're gonna go for a smoke version, I think I'd just buy it as smoke rather than buy the clear and obviously change it. Just do it when you purchase in the first place. They also sell replacement straps, not interchangeable straps, so you're not gonna wanna swap back and forth 
If you take these off, because it is sealed in there with the plastic, you will need to cut the originals to get the new ones in there. So you only really want to do that if they're damaged or just need replacing. You'll also find that the straps themselves are fitted proud of the frame and of this soft padding, which again helps it fit your face as it should. The easiest way is possibly to point out where goggles go wrong. So with the strap, if it's too close to the padding, when you get it in the helmet, the fact that the helmet then bulks out slightly from your head means that it raises the goggles from your eyes and just leaves a little gap, which is really irritating and obviously doesn't provide the best kind of fit. It will allow airflow through as well, which is also irritating. These obviously don't do that. Aside from being slightly smaller, they still have really good visibility and the lenses go to the top of the frame. And again, that's important. If you've got them under a helmet, if there's too much room above the lens, what you'll find is that the helmet starts to move the goggles down. They don't sit exactly where they should on your face and they'll feel like they're slipping down your nose. And again, that's really irritating. And then you've got this soft padding against your face. They've gone for goat leather on that, which is nice and soft, nice and supple. And then you've got this silicon backing to the strap, which helps keep it where it should be on the helmet. As mentioned, these are either £105 for the T1 or £115 for the T2. Lots of different colours to choose. Links will be in the description if you want to follow those. If you've got any questions and comments on these, drop them down below. And for more of the world's finest riding gear, stay tuned to Urban Rider. Thank you. I can take these fake glasses off now. I don't need these at all. My eyes are absolutely fine. It was a ruse. No, I do need them. Right?